Okay, doing my spring uh, waterproofing here. So I've got two products, Crown Leather and Vinyl Vitalizer and 303 FabricCard. Uh, the Crown is to be used on the vinyl, so like the top of the tent for your tent trailer or your hybrid. And the FabricCard is to be used on all the canvas materials. 303 is really clear. Um, Sunbrella uh, also echoes that recommendation that like you should really not use it on vinyl products. I don't use it on the vertical vinyl surfaces. Um, I do use it on the horizontal, or I use it on the vertical uh, vinyl surfaces that are like not the, so, so I will use it here, um, but not here on the coated vinyl, okay? Um, and I'll use the, the vitalizer there. So the vitalizer uh, just sort of adds that waterproofing in. I spray a heavy coat, and then because I'm Canadian, I wrap a rag around a hockey stick and I uh, clean it off. So I'll show you what this looks like. So this is the application of the Crown Leather Vitalizer. You can get this at any Crown location. Definitely wouldn't uh, complain if Crown wants to throw me a sponsorship here. All right, uh, and put it on the spray mode, or stream mode, and just cover the thing. Cover it till it's uniformly wet. This stuff is 10 bucks a bottle. Go to town. Very, very cheap insurance for your vinyl. It'll set in, it'll moisturize, it'll waterproof. Make sure to get the seams really thoroughly and the top. Okay, you can see it's really wet. I'm gonna let it sit and set in, uh, and then I'm gonna go to the other side. So this is how wet you're gonna get it. And then at the end, um, if you can, if you can, just wipe off the excess after 20, 30 minutes with uh, a clean, dry cloth. Um, if you can't get the excess off with a clean, dry cloth, I use a hockey stick and uh, just sort of gently wipe it off toward me. So I'll show you what that okay, looks so like. This is after applying the uh, Crown Vitalizer, okay? It's starting to dry a little bit, okay? So we're just gonna lightly buff that into place, okay? Just get rid of the droplets that are really big. You don't really wanna remove much of the actual substance, okay? We just don't want it to dry in a weird pattern that will look ugly. Okay, and do a little bit up here too, just because it's gonna drip down. So anything that's blue or black or whatever the fabric color is here, okay? If you don't get these sort of droplets up, they could dry on and then it will look super weird. So again, we're just like lightly buffing, taking off the excess here. Okay, do it on the bottom. Do up the seam, both sides. Okay, now it's nice and shiny. We're gonna let that cure for a while. Uh, and then over here, okay, we've got our drippiness. Again, we're gonna clear that up, just blot those spots up and then let it dry thoroughly for an hour or so. Um, and then we're gonna come back and we're going to apply the, uh, we're gonna apply the Sunbrella coating um, in a very light coat on top of this. And we're going to apply the uh, coating to the canvas, which is all under here. So that stuff definitely needs to be waterproofed. Uh, and that's where the Sunbrella comes in. Okay, so this is what it looks like um, once you have applied the vinyl vitalizer and the waterproofing. You can see that that bead's right off. Gone. And here on the canvas section, gone. It just beads right off, flows right off the inside. What you're seeing is water droplets just stuck on the screen but uh, these guys just fall right off. They are gone. Um, so this will keep you absolutely dry. I've used it here uh, on the hybrid. I've used it on the tent trailer that I, uh, that I own as well. And that keeps it absolutely 100% dry. Good luck, happy camping.